Hi guys, this is kind of a first move for me, so uh, take it easy on the comments. <laughs> um, I was uh, looking into buying an antique skeleton and read a lot of reviews and videos on the net. And people gave it a lot of flack because of the, uh, the way that the components are placed, the power supply and the noise level and the dust and be careful with animals and small children and all that but I decided to try it out anyway and I think it's actually a pretty nice case it um, it has some drawbacks um, I'll get in into those in details but um, about the dust thing and the yeah a lot of people are saying that it's gonna because there's no dust filters you're gonna have a lot of trouble with dust and Hairs and it, it's it's not really that bad. I had this for two weeks and I've been running it since then. And uh, I have two cats in the house, and it's it's not really that big a problem to be honest. It uh, of course you can tell now where I'm rubbing all over it, but um, yeah, what can you expect? Um, it's it's not like it's clocked up any or anything, but um, I suppose I'll be able to tell later on. Uh, what I'm doing now is I'm gonna swap the memory. This Corsair XMS3 is gonna go. Uh, briefly, this is a Gigabyte um, X58 UD7 motherboard with a two gain board GTX 590s. Nice, three gigabyte. And an Intel Core i7-970 and a Noctua cooler. Uh, what's the name of the cooler? That's NHC12PSE14 for those who care. Uh, I replaced the, the cooler on it today, just got a new one. Um, this is actually the stock Noctua cooler. I can't stand the colors. It's, it's very silent. It's probably a good fan, but... Um, I just can't stand the color. So I got these uh, Sigma Tech from Case King. I got a shipment from Case King today. They're pretty nice. They have white LEDs around the side and the uh, fans themselves are blue. Come with this. Uh, so you can, they're 140 millimeters, but you can allegedly mount them uh, on a 120 mount with this. Ooh, and candy. Nice. I'm gonna be changing my SATA cables for some sleeve ones. I don't know if these are long enough. I'll have to see. With locking pins. Nice. And hopefully get some sleeving done on the rest of the cables. Um, yeah. One problem that I've read a lot of places about the Antic Skeleton is the wire length for the front panel connectors and I agree I'll show you later but you can't pull out the motherboard tray entirely with them mounted another thing which is in my opinion worse is um, you can't mount uh, I, I wouldn't be able to mount a third GTX 590 or I can't move this card uh, to the bottom slot because the front panel connectors are too high. Same goes for the USB and Firewire. Focus. Anyway. So, what I'll be doing is, I'll be... Uh, let me just get it. I will be installing one of these. Installing the front panel cables into this, hopefully. And that should fit underneath. I'm gonna have a problem with the USB, but I'll probably ditch that and just go without it. Um, I have currently 12 gigabyte of Corsair memory. I'm gonna go at uh, some VEX here. Core series. 24 gigs in total. Yeah. I don't know. They look nice, I hope. Power supply, Corsair AX1200, very nice. Um, yeah, on the side of the antique you have these 
covers for the cabling. You can get most of this done by pulling the entire tray out of the case and um, that makes it a bit easier but still it's it's very fiddly in here. You can remove the uh, power supply by pulling this pin and it, it, it's a bit tricky to get it out but it's okay. I was concerned about the size of the Antec, uh, of the of the power supply tray, if it would be able to fit the Corsair AX1200, but it's fine actually. It's okay. I was I I couldn't find any uh, specs on the size what it took, but um, turned out okay. And the fan is up here. Like it in the uh, instructions for the case, they tell you to mount the fans up top. On this of course you have one where it's in the side or rear as it usually is. Uh, one thing about the uh, Antec skeleton that I don't like is the silly little hard disk clips you get to put on the side. I'll just show you a picture or something. Um, they're just retarded. Uh, I mean, you would have your disc hanging on the side and cables everywhere, and it's not very neat now. But I'm hoping to get this cable pretty cabling done pretty neatly. And uh, having disc hanging from the side of your case definitely defeats that purpose. So I find out that um, I could actually slide them in just like this. They are not retained by anything; they just sit there. Um, Three regular or two terabyte disks, these, and that's a 1.5 and two SSD for my boot. Um, and they they sit pretty nice. Uh, they don't get very hot. They get some air. It's I think it's okay. Over here we have two velociraptors. Yeah, I don't know if this fan is really needed, but I just whatever. Give it a shot. These do get dusty, however. Hmm. Um, yeah, I was considering if I would be able to uh, change the memory without uh, removing the CPU cooler. Maybe uh, the new FX here. modules are a bit larger. I love peeling this shit. Anyway, they are a bit larger than the Corsairs, but not by much. I tried finding the the size, the specs on the Avexir in vain. I even contacted Avexir, they couldn't get it either. But I'm gonna measure them up before I plug them in and, and put them in the description. So, uh, yeah.